All right, we begin this broadcast straight away. My name is Safin Aching Oma, and our sign language interpreter tonight is Anne Wangeshi. John Jacob Kiri is not with us tonight, but we also urge you to interact with us on social media at KBC Channel One. Use the hashtag Sunday Express. Now, on to our top story, former Attorney General Charles Njonjo was cremated at the Karyoko Crematorium on Sunday, just hours after his death. Njonjo died Sunday morning at his home, aged a hundred in one years, San Jonjo has been hailed as a knowledgeable, blunt and dedicated advocate who stood firm for what he believed in. He succumbed to pneumonia at his Mudaiga home earlier today. Sunday morning at the Kariako Crematorium in Nairobi. Family of the late Charles Njonjo arrived here for his cremation according to his wishes. Njonjo died on Sunday at 5 a.m. at his home in Muthaiga, aged 101 years after suffering from pneumonia. Mr. Njonjo had been unwell for quite a while. Um, over the course of last year and this year, um, he'd been battling, you know, one ailment or another. Um, very, very well, uh, despite his age. Um, but um, as of this morning at around 5.15 a.m., um, he breathed his last. Um, and it was actually as a result of um, a little bout of pneumonia, uh, which he had suffered and therefore had compromised, had compromised his lungs. According to his family, his wish was that he be cremated almost immediately after his death. So he was a man who was very clear about instructions. And a man who was very clear about what he wanted, uh, not just in life, but what he wanted in death as well. And part of those instructions were that we must perform a cremation um, immediately, almost immediately after his passing. He didn't want any fanfare, he didn't want a lot of ceremony, um, he, didn't, uh, he, didn't, he didn't want um, a lot of what goes with um, funerals um, and, and passing of, of, of people of his stature. His death has been termed as a big blow not just to his family but the country and the continent at large. His allies have held Njonjo as a committed civil servant and a family man who was diligent. He was nicknamed the Duke of Cabetashire, owing to his English mannerism, having studied in the United Kingdom. He leaves behind three children. As the curtains fall on the life of the late Charles Njonjo, he will be remembered for the role he played in building this nation, especially on matters constitution and legal affairs. Nancy Okwari, Prime Edition from Kariako Crematorium, Nairobi County.